C2 Studio is a design research and fabrication practice located in Brooklyn, New York. Um, we do a variety of scales and types of projects. Uh, anything from uh, designing and building small exhibitions and installations to developing new products, building products, to looking at projects on a global scale dealing with human rights, violations of war, um, and even microscopic scale. Uh, where we are uh, building software and hardware to do scientific studies. The founding partners of C2 uh, have been all trained as architects at the Cooper Union School of Architecture, um, but I believe the type of work that we engage in spans uh, the architecture specter, a spectrum. Uh, we work within and as well as outside, so I think we're perhaps a new breed of architects and designers. Uh, encompassing fabrication, encompassing, encompassing research, uh, industrial des design as well as architectural design. Uh, we also do public uh, art projects. So that's kind of a more multifaceted, perhaps, uh, understanding of the architectural role. So sometimes we do offer just fabrication. A lot of times the fabrication itself and, uh, requires a certain level of design uh, input. Um, and then we also function as designers, architectural designers, and as I mentioned, as researchers. We officially opened as a, as a studio, as a business in 2005. And we, at the start we've, of this business, we already had a, a functioning fabrication shop. You know, I, th I believe a lot of architecture firms, or not a lot, but a, a fair amount, have always had some kind of fabrication uh, uh, capabilities, but perhaps those were more um, directed towards building scale models of their projects, whereas we've set, off, set out a business uh, with a production shop that could take on full-scale production. Even if it's a scale of furniture or another interior piece, um, it was always in mind that we're building full-scale one-to-one. At this point, uh, we, again, it, it's, you know, anything from prototyping our own design projects and figuring out different construction components, testing out materials, to building full-scale structures. Uh, we're currently working on a project for the New York Hall of Science, which involves designing and building um, spaces on, on, uh, on the inside of this museum, but kind of new learning spaces, workshops, etc. So uh, and they kind of integrate uh, lighting services, uh, storage display components, uh, spaces just for, for building uh, projects, for, for creating work of certain types and certain scale. Our fabrication shop is, is doing, at this point, we're doing kind of 50-50 split of uh, production work, fabrication work for others, which again in, usually involves some type of engineering. Uh, the types of fabrication work we do take on uh, are fairly complex and unique, so we might be given a general uh, form or uh, form and finish sometimes, or sometimes the material finish is not even specified, but is to be developed, and we help the other designers or architects develop those uh, materials and finishes within our fabrication shop, given the tools uh, we have at our disposal at this point. We've been developing a set of uh, architectural uh, concrete tiles, uh, currently at a scale of an interior, but there's there are some thoughts about their application on larger scale of exterior building facades. Um, we've launched this product uh, last year with another company, a concrete company, uh, called Oso Industries. Uh, we're going to be introducing a new line of this product this year at the ICFF show. Um, but at the, same time, at the same time, we've we've managed to develop and build a, a digital fabrication tool of, of its own kind. Uh, in this case, it's a, a CNC grinder that's used in um, in the fields of material testing uh, and geology. So this was uh, 3D modeled uh, within uh, 3D modeling software and then uh, a construction system was developed of how to actually build something like this out of a spe specified material, uh, in this case solid wood. Uh, certain parts, this overall form was broken up into a number of separate pieces that were individually cut out of a slab of wood, then reassembled and then placed back again on the CNC on the digital cutting machine uh, to kind of finalize the smooth form. But I would say at the end of the day, uh, a lot more time and hours are spent in the manual labor and the finishing uh, done by skilled woodworkers to get this to the presentation level, the presentation quality 
uh, that the client requires.